So we need to get to the tram. So is that this one over here? I think it is. Saving before I enter any lift now. Entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Loose contaminants, eh? Huh. What kind of contaminants could they be? Huh. Yes. In. The door could be finessed. It appears that the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Junk bin. Hmm. Yep, let's take all that. So we can fit something on your weapon, Liara. Rail extension. Extra damage minus heat absorption. Not really. Rail extension, another one. I think I'll put that on a sniper rifle, actually. Because it overheats easily enough. Right, uh, computer lock. Control group, loosen the... They're in... We can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the final struck. Get out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? He must have felt there was no hope of surviving. That killing himself would be easier. Pretty sure there should be a Rachni attacking any second. Since we can't step on that. Okay, uh, sniper rifle from Haliot and sniper rifle from Devlin. Right, let's see. Let's take the repair plasma purge. There we go, simple enough. Yeah, I was right, here it comes. There we go. Now we're going to get rushed by some soldiers, since they're waiting there. Let's see if we can get a singularity laid down. Okay, maybe not, but no harm really done to us. Or our party. Right. Let us get down into here and uh, see what we can do. you onto the outside. And uh, tram waiting station as though this is a frequently used route. <laughs> Don't think you need that many chairs otherwise. To Rift Station. Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Yeah. And now we experience a, now a long tram ride. No, we don't. It feels like that sometimes. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Okay, and doors open, doors open, doors open, doors open. Yes, and this is the actual research facility where this probably all started. Knowing any corporation? <coughs> In uh, fiction, that is. Real corporations tend to take more safety uh, procedures, safety protocols, to prevent this kind of madness from happening. Okay. Ah, humans. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd do the same. What's going on here? Bugs. Zillions of them, coming up the tunnels from the hot labs. My team's been running on stems for days. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. Uh, what should we say? Let's just say I'm here for Benezia. Call me Shepard. I was sent to find an Asari matriarch. Benezia? Yeah, she came through here. 
The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. I'm packing fire and steel. If they want to fight with claws and teeth, it's their funeral. You got my support. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Okay, um, anything else? Yes. What exactly are these aliens? What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. Okay, we'll ask him then. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! <laughs> go, go, go! Enemies everywhere! Go, go, go! Here they come! Enemies everywhere! Yep, yeah, right on cue. Um, push them back. Enemies the yard is badly hurt already. Thanks to the acid blast. Dealt with it. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts, and they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Right, yeah. Um, something funny is that if you run off without helping, he chews you out. I'd kill for a P204. Just hold down the trigger and zap. Hallway <laughs> full of flash boiled bugs. I wonder what a P204 is. Is it some kind of flamethrower? Electric flamethrower? Future flamethrower? Um, guy, I'm trying to talk to you. Okay, fine. The, uh, you can uh, immediately, the rat might come out, you can run away, and <laughs> it gets a rather annoyed reaction from him. Anyway, as you can see on the mini-map, there is a shop coming up. Rather limited shop, I might say. So let's check in there. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously. I am curious to know what you're doing here. It seems I've been caught up in events. Sympathetically. Everyone here could say the same. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. <laughs> What's this sell crap? This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement. I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Right. Is there anything here that could be useful? That biotic amp is an improvement in some respects, but not really. Yeah, we really do need better amps. Hmm. Yeah, nothing really. But we might as well sell the things we don't want. Like all this level 7 stuff. Where are we? Uh, sell this, sell that, sell cryo rounds, sendries. Don't really use incendiaries. Proton might be useful, considering what we're going to face as well. Sell that, sell the Ursa. Um, there's no one else who can wear it apart from Ashley, but she gets better armor. Alright, uh, seems so. Uh, yeah, fresh out of things to sell, and no, nothing worth buying. So let's talk to everyone else, like uh, you, uh, Listia Ayalis. What? Okay. You seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. <laughs> You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? 
Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. Fine. Tell me about yourself. I am Molestia Alice from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Very rude. We'll keep battering you until something productive comes out of it. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? <laughs> because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? Yeah, she has a... Uh... That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. She has a different response if you don't have Liara with you. She'll say, well, do you know President Huerta or Berth? Didn't think so. You're not going to go to the hot labs, are you? Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. Uh, medical kit. Dr. Palon? <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? I have a notice actually about Solarian clothing, how they have a kind of bottle opener across their chest. I think it's to support their physiology or something, I'm not sure. Uh, quite a few things. What's the situation exactly then? How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. <laughs> None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing, I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. Okay. Um... What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. <laughs> the location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. Yes. Interesting you should mention that, because we haven't seen any ethical violations quite yet. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. Okay. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. 